Thorgood's birthday tomorrow. I've no clue what to give him. A nice little axe. Pretty like. Master Geralt, a guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gates. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krakowitz. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. <laughs> I have as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt creates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, got it? Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Put your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw, she's so... So... My stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, and your twins in that regard. Don't see Krak. He talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell, Witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Head of a giant on your mind. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellige seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy. 
Mahatamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, North else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crepe blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yadma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Hear that? Damn it. You almost probably started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. 
Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not step on this. Then come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Thanks. Fine. I'll see you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, they thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lugos bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... they were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Let it go. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. Look, do we have over? All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. 
Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scent's in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood? Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. Stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. A disgrace. The camp we've not seen since the Red Funeral. Few have died then, and I'm a Jarl's son of Marum. Freya, our mother, may the sea swallow the traitors. Freya, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Sarah wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Haib, I believe. All right. Hasn't seen it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. We must find the traitors quickly. 
Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, meat's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar is doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> right behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another place to drop in the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. Burned alive? Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One rarely mm. used one. Magic. When Yalmar and I were left, we'd play here. on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. through the mead. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby, something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Look, it's him! Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Don't stand a chance. Way to see you, Borg Knight! Ha! Got him! Why do you betray them? Talk or I'll finish what I started. No uncreate should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skellige needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Sure, yes. Never heard you voice that idea, but I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar or involved. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. 
We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boone at Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. T'was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, who betrayed us? The clan that took you in? Good man. He's a servant to Ancreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served at Kaer Trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncreate lackey? Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked to the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Berna's right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? Why did you know? Why? You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. What's those her doing? She shamed herself, me, the family, the clan. Svan Regan, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains.
Werner had a lust for power, I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'd lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. We're just in time. They've already started. Worked long ago, we gave King Grant back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. Some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. Looks to me and you're bursting with pride. <laughs> if only you knew, Wolf. Tell me, what other Jarl can boast children like mine? <laughs> Shame their mother didn't live to see this. Ceres will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, we'll take up arms for her. I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. A bit, I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. Which would do her good now I think of it. <laughs> we showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage, Gripper? I thought it burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a half, actually. Our clans have been butting heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. 
Take care, Yalmar. A weak lass. Because a rare thing is, let's take the girl to intercede.